Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Infantry fighting vehicle have occupied an important role in military operations since World War 1. At the tough terrains of LAC, India needs light fast armored mobility to better itself than the Chinese counterpart. It needs to strike quick and hard and move. This is where the need of armored fighting vehicle is felt the most. At present Indian Army is operating Soviet era BMPs and APCs which are in need of desperate replacement with the changing battle scenario. This is where the Tata Kestrel or WHAP wheeled armor platform proves to be vital. Indian Army needs close to 2000 such vehicle to replace its fleet of BMPs. Armored fighting vehicle are often mistaken for tanks though they are armed but not as heavy as a main battle tank and weighs almost the half of the later their primary role is to provide protection and transportation for mechanized infantry and then offer copious fire support once the infantry has dismounted into cover due to their less weight they can be easily airlifted by transport aircrafts and have faster speed and mobility on tough terrains and roads where fully loaded main battle tanks weighing over 60 tons cannot another important aspect is the maintenance While the main battle tanks usually requires regular maintenance and logistic supports after close to 400 to 500 km run the armored fighting vehicles require minimum to no maintenance even after 1000 km of run improving their availability APVs are silent swift like ninja and tanks are like the power punch of a heavyweight boxer Tata Kestrel is a modern armored amphibious personal carrier family designed in collaboration of Tata DRDO and a UK based defense firm Supcat. It is a versatile vehicle and can traverse a variety of terrains, be outfitted for multiple missions and also serve non-combat roles like that of an ambulance or VIP transport. It will be much cheaper when compared with a main battle tank and can be mass manufactured given the expertise Tata has in automobile sector. Kestrel is 8 by 8 wheel platform meaning 8 wheel drive which is 2 four wheel drives glued together to provide maximum mobility in tough terrains. It weighs close to 25 tons and has a length of 7.8 meter width 2.95 meter and height 2.28 meters. It has a maximum speed of 100 km per hour on road and 10 km per hour in water. It has a capacity of carrying total of 10 soldiers, 6 in the back seat, 2 in the turret, commander and gunner and 2 in the driving seat. The seats are supposedly more comfortable than what soldiers used to be in BMP2 and BTR series of armored vehicles. If you want to analyze any armored vehicle The three best parameters are its mobility, protection and firepower. Kestrel is powered by Cummins ISX 600 engine which also includes cooling and dilation system which increases the efficiency of the vehicle. It comes with a reliability rating of over 10 lakh kilometers. The 8x8 wheel configuration is set on a hydro pneumatic suspension utilizing a double wishbone arrangement. All wheels are equipped with a run flat capability to allow the vehicles to move even after suffering from multiple punctures. The two front wheels are steerable and all eight wheels are of a run flat tire type that can be centrally inflated or deflated like a modern luxury SUV. For rough terrains the tires can be deflated but for highway operation they can be pumped up to normal levels of air pressure. The vehicle has four axles. The frontal axle is steerable which reduces the turning radius of the vehicles significantly. The vehicle is amphibious up to 24 tons and in addition a reserved buoyancy of 15% has been catered for in the design. The hydro jets in the rear helps in the propulsion in water at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. It follows a modular design which gives it flexibility to have any turret. The main armament is a 30 mm cannon with a remote control system from Kongsberg, but could be very soon be adapted to a home-based BHEL 
DRDO system currently in use on other weapon system. The current system is equipped with turret of BMP-2 as army has been quite familiar with it and is battle proven. Because of the use of BMP-2 turret, the WHAP can be fitted with a 30mm 2A42 main gun, a Klasinikov PKT 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and a roof mounted launcher for the 84 SIP GOAT and T-Tank missile system. The BMP-2 turret means that older vehicles could be cannibalized for spares, especially armor plates and turrets which will save a lot of money. The 30mm gun can fire armor-piercing incendiary API, high-explosive incendiary HEI and armor-piercing fin-stabilist discarded Sabot Tracer APFDST rounds. It has an effective range of 3 km. The secondary armament can include 40mm grand launchers, a 12.7mm machine gun or anti-tank missiles. At Defense Expo 2014, the DRDO Tata Kestrel has been seen with a Kongsberg Protector MCT-30R turret and an M151 remote weapon station. In addition, the turret also had an anti-tank guided missile. The system at Defense Expo 2014 had two Javelin anti-tank missiles launchers fitted to the right side of MCT-30R turret and mounted on the remote weapon station. Thus, the system can be modified to carry a range of weapons including a grenade launcher, anti-tank guided missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles. The vehicle is well protected because of its armor configuration. This system has all-round protection against blast as well as ballistic impacts. The vehicle has been designed to provide protection against landmine meeting level 3 Stenag 4569. The hull configuration evolved follows a V-type bottom with a double configuration consisting of an inner panel and bottom panel. The bottom panel is designed to deflect the blast energy and get deformed to minimize the energy transfer to the vehicle. Further, blast-resistant seats and energy-absorbing mats at the troop feet floor interface provide protection to the crew as per STNAG 4569 standard. The seating layout in the crew compartment follows centrally mounted outward facing seat configuration to accommodate the requirement of firing port for every soldier in the crew compartment. The seats are suspended from the roof and do not have any connection with the floor to further reduce the impact of a mine blast. The armor configuration of Tata Kestrel is based on composites and steel armor packed in blocks. The hull, which is constructed of high strength steel and special ceramic armor bolted on, offers all round protection against 7.62 mm AP. In case the requirement is to have larger protection, the platform design caters the requirement by equipping bolt on armor to a higher level of protection. The Kestrel is often compared with US made ICV Striker. The system is made by General Dynamics Land System for the United States Army. Both the systems are equivalent in performance. However, when it comes to price, the Striker cost 45 crore per unit at the same time, Kestrel cost just 23 crore. The Kestrel is an excellent platform for multiple requirements of the Indian Army. This indigenously built system can be leveraged in multiple applications such as armored personal carrier, motor carrier, anti-tank guided missile and mounted gun system etc. In future, this can also be used to mount direct energy weapons. The WHAB has also received the permission from Ministry of Defense to export it to friendly nations. As part of the Defense Modernization Plan, MOD should fast track the procurement of these vehicles to add the much needed speed and lethality of the operation needed by our army. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.